Okay, you can go ahead. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. So as we said, if you have a question or a comment, please drop on the chat box and you can raise up your hand if you have a question. Last class we had, last time we spoke on product validation, first product validation and spoke more on user pain points and assumption mapping. So there was an assignment I gave out, but I withdrew the assignment because I thought we need a work example in class to be able to do that assignment. And that came from second assignment, that's the third assignment that happened last class. So we spoke about user point. Who can give up a summary of a summary of user point? Um, explain from your understanding what user pay point to mean and how. I think it's quite simple because it's almost the same size as customer problem. The same size as customer problem. But just a little bit. So who wants to join? Who wants to speak on this? So for me, please use your mic and thank you. Okay, so basically, user pain points, a lemma them can just be said to be a customer's problem and the very need for one to provide a solution for all of these problems. Then also, um, what are the aspects of the user's, like the customer's experience in the process of making use of one's products? If then understanding and get a, having a better understanding of um, the customer's journey. So for every product, it is essential that the product manager should know and plan the product around um, a customer's um, prospective problem that they are going to encounter during the, uh, during the period of time that they are making use of such products or make use of the services. And also, um, I think you mentioned, um, during, I, I wasn't in the class, but I watched the video and I read, read through the material that was shared. So um, there are areas at which um, we have customers, users, pain points, and the areas include uh, getting to find the customer's main problem, trying as much as you can to end their trust, and also providing necessary solutions at the end of the day. So in a nutshell, user pain points is basically a customer's problem in the process of making use of your products or your services. Thank you so much. Perhaps one major as to consider during this point, who can help us with those three major areas? So, so for me, I had narrated them. Oh, yeah. So we have some like productivity points and all. Who can help us to measure some? Anyone there? Can you hear me? Yes, can hear you. Okay. Let's rush through it. We have productivity pay point, financial pay point, and process pay point. So I spoke about how customer wants cheaper and something cheap. And it will add a way to manage your time. So, I understand that post put at the now. So, we want to make sure that our product asks us this, um, this problem or consign from customers. So, we will come to assumption mapping. I'm going to run through. We all have the slide from last class. I'm going to run through assumption mapping again. So that we could for examples for things and close up on the validation. The summary of last class said this is the process of identifying the risk as one who made all of us. So if you have an idea of an information, it could be the noble something going to and the problem that people can need something like social media. We have we need social media. I thought of it like, I wish I can just chat to my friend or whatsoever. But to go to grow the balls and the rest came up, up and skipped them. And realized that all things came up, realized that oh, one thing that 
kesehatan ini cuma ya Thank you. So we spoke about um one one thing about the system mapping is that it's visible and we spoke about this and also how to graph. Question like I have questions coming up like how do I do that's the more mapping as I do in the reverse? Hello, can you hear me? Please, if you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Please let me know if you can hear me. Please can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll run through it from beginning again. We talked about as we talked about user pain point, understand the productivity pay point, financial pay point, and also the process pay point. So we thought that we came into assumption mapping. To understand the assumption we made from ideology or the or what we saw as a problem and what we felt as a solution. We made that assumption, we made that mapping. We said we wrote written that our vision, our goals, and what we thought this product could make up. But there are assumptions we made on ourselves, and it's time for us to understand if we truly understand this this product or we truly on the if our assumptions are true. So we had the desirability, assumption, viability. And um and visibility, which are questions to be answered. So that disability, the customer problems are what can this product answer the customer's product um, problem, and what are the outcomes the customer want? On that viability, can the customer use our product to be deadly? Can we generate revenue with the product? Another feasibility. What will be our biggest technical and engineering challenges? What are external and internal weakness, risks, or risks we have? And what will be our strength, which is the same thing as external and internal? So we thought about plus negra and how. And the last the last class, we're just like, oh, okay, that was dumped on us. So this class, we're going to work. We're going to work together, and 
understand more on assumption mapping. As product, as product manager, it's uh, important to our day to day lifestyle. And it's something you should be your tip of why I ask you to the tip of a bag, which is something you can do and just do without spending hours over it, just not looking it over them. So, here is an assumption what mapping. Two class, two class before we mentioned about, we made mention about Uber. We had a class discussion on Uber. It is, and I felt it would be awesome to just go back to Uber since every one of us could relate with that. So here's an work example. And so we're breaking into the Uber idea and we have to break them into problem, solution, and goal, literally. And so for, for, for a PM, framework is just the skeleton, um, skeleton or skeletal arrangement of things. So it is um, like the background, you just want to put in things in place. We call them framework most time. We'll talk about it more when we talk about product methodology. That's Agile, Kaban, and the rest. So we have the user pain points from here. For Huba, we spoke about it last to class and we said, why do you want to use Uber? Why do you want to use Uber? Us, okay, everybody said, ah, I want to use, okay, why, why, why do you think Uber runs towards, everybody said, ah, Uber work in urban, urban cities or urban areas at the same time, though in Nigeria it's getting to the rural areas or the less urban area, urban areas. So we also mentioned, okay, what do you want to Uber? And what has Uber done to you? So everybody has agreed. Uba has helped with estimation of time, estimation of traffic, estimation of care, and be able to get to your a place um, wherever you are going to or your desired location early. So that's against driving. When there is traffic, you can easily come down from Uber and, and, and just make a shortcut. And um, at the same time, it will be more productive having an Uber instead of paying for and less cheaper. That means you don't have to pay for the cost of a driver when you just need a driver in one day. So let's assume are going in for a presentation. Why you work remotely? You're going for a presentation probably once in a month or twice in a month. You don't need to start looking for your driver who might be high due for other 30 days of the month or for other 28 days of the month or thereabouts. And just that two days they're going for presentation or to meet a stakeholder or a client or to meet with your company, you need a driver. So with Uber, you could hold out your right, have a driver in, why you run through your slides, run through your ideology, run through your solution and everything and be able to talk to them when you get in. At the same time, so this, this is what people want. They want to get to a place on time and you estimate that time and all. All right? Um, at the same time, I'm coming back there. So at the same time, we also have, what, why should I use Uber? So we spoke about, in last two class, we spoke about the pain it takes to get a cab before Uber certified and um, I never that one around. I, I saw one yesterday. I shall have, have sent that at, at to us. So I think Roto, Roto is the name. I never that one around, right? In driver and the rest. So before then, you have to walk to the to a park. Um, probably if you are way, way ahead of others, you may have Barbelo or Mr. Taji James number. By to call and say, I'm Saturday, I'm going out tomorrow, please be available. And if for people that are die minute people, but then you call Mr. Saturday or Baba Bello, he might tell you, I'm on my way to Ilori. At the same time, tomorrow morning, Baba Bello may wake up and say, Ah, sorry, oh, um, my auntie, mother, uncle, auntie said I should come around to Ibado. Ah, I'm on my way to Ibado. Whereas he saw someone that will pay him better and try to. To slide to, like, to take that offer. The cab, uh, if the cab is available and make it and all, right? So for that, Uber is a mobile hub. I can just be in I could be dressing up anything and I just had the right. I think I could order right and find my right. Okay. 
on life what on life my computers or charging up our computers with for today word for Rosa about I think on Instagram when I see the girl I I will say for the about For to be hard working, A trend uh, my sisters and I realized from Uber is. Let me know if you can hear me. Like a trend my sisters and I realized from Uber is if you install Uber today or testify or both, right? You install and you, are, you use a new, a new email, your fare, your estimated fare will be cheaper. Than when you've been using, than when you've been using this um the half for a longer period of time. Okay, can you all hear me, please? Hello, can you hear me? Please? Let me know if you can hear me. Can hear you. Okay, I run through what might have missed. And here is it. So, like I said, it's on slide. So, what's the reason why I want to use Uber? Because I don't need to go to the um to the car park. Uh, classifies are unreliable because Babylon may decide to go out, go with a and higher and higher price or someone who offered more money than I do and decide to just make me make me lose a, a, my time or productivity for that money. Right. At the same time, what is Uber better against against cabs? So I said traditionally when Uber came on ground, the tax, the tax, the tax, um, the, the taxes were the computers. But today what actually against the um, price estimation of Uber. So people, people are complaining like, if I knew you, I would have than someone who has been a longer period of time. Right? That's one also one side. So the product is more what? It's more secure. For Uber, it's more secure, it's more reliable, more cheaper, monitor. Then the last one will be we know this is true when what when more users when users when people uses the um uses Uber Uber cabs or prefer Uber Uber cabs. So let's assume we are making 
or a new product. So it could be against the pain point of customers with finances, which is on why is it that the fear of a new, apart from this country, so why is that the fear of a new user on the hub is way cheaper than someone that has been on the app for a long period of time. So even when they told you, I'm um, giving you that 5% discount, 800 naira discount or thereabouts, you realize that for the same location you are going with someone who has been on the hub longer and someone who is new on the hub, the estimated price is way different, way different. So back to the work example, this is just of Uber work and what we said about Uber. So here is its user pay points for humans in Uber's an urban city who has a need to go to places on time. And the assumption map here or the assumption concern here will be how much do I really know or do we really know about this? So you believe that you want to create a product called Uber on urban city. Why? It could be because of smooth road. It could be because more people are there who uses. It could be because more people are there who uses who uses this as against rural area where they might not there not be need for transportation or for for um speedy transportation or the rest. So who and why why are you doing this? Because they have a need just to get to places on time. I'm explain why someone like me might want to go to the office or might want to take a driver or might want to take Uber and Uber and, and the rest. I want to know how much you know this. You have to rate this as a one to 10. How well do you think you know this idea from what you have? On the other hand, the next one will have been, so that's under problems, right? Next one is your solution, your product or solution. So your solution to this, you are a Zoom, a Zoom user pay point is your product, which is Uber. So you need to introduce Uber to us. What is Uber? Uber, Uber is a product, right? The mobile help, a mobile help. So why do you think a mobile help is part of the solution to the product, to the pain point of the customer? Uh, and at the same time, you can. I don't need to walk to the to this um to the car park. It's a a cab. I don't need to be on the road trying to help down a cab to get me to the place I want. I could be anywhere. I could plan my house in Uber, other than Uber and plan my makeup, other my Uber and plan how to dress up and move out. Right. So at the same time, so it's Allah. So. That is the mobile hub. So the mobile hub making an application, a mobile application, has solved the problem at one point. Then it also, so what does this application helps with? It helps to book on demand, on demand road transport. As against what your computers, as against who, stars and caps, right? So what this product is more what? So what is the benefit of this product? It's more reliable more secured, more cheaper monitor. Do you want to create an assumption map or assumption on what, on how well you know this? This is a problem and this is your likely, this is your product and this is a likely solution as against benefit likewise. So you want to know, you also have to answer the question, what if we get it wrong? How likely are we to fail? So remember when I talked about, when we talked about product life cycle, I said, for like the demand, the way you have, the management of product life cycle determines how long the product will be on your shelf. And also determine at the declaration stage, if it's going to be reboot, if it's to be queued, or if it's to be sustained. Yes. So the next one will have been to understand the goal. So what's the goal? PMs understand that they go for every product, apart from solution to customers and uh, to make profits. Right. But at this product goal, what's your goal? Your goal is to make sure users use this. And you only get to know if your goal is being established or accomplished when users prefer Uber over caps, over sizes. And looking through this assumption mapping or assumption, or assumption statements here, we can say Uber got, right, got it right. 
and everything. So now this one, the question now is, if they prefer using Uber, then can we create revenue from this? Now the next thing is assumption statement. So talk about assumption statement. You have a map, which is just like a framework, it has here and there. You try to unify them by creating, by creating a, a user story. So what I did there was an introduction to user story, but we won't, get, we won't go into that deeply until we pick a methodology we'll be using, most likely Aja and Scrum. So, so that's just an introduction of what a user story could look like, right? Or of a product story. So user story, user story could be for the, for, to the customer, to the business, to the stakeholder, and for the product. So for this, this is a product story. So the next thing, you want to make an assumption statement. So I'm just statement is just putting them in step and making them more unique, bringing out what you've written, what is mapped out. So for number one, we can all agree that users live in urban areas, or for the first stage, they, they live in urban areas. And for product growth, for product growth in this, we can we can understand that okay, the product growth will have been that if users are in urban area. Of let's assume youths are in urban areas. So talking about customer experience and segmentation, we talked about how to how to divide customers according to their area, geographic area, and the rest. So you want to you want to say okay, in future time, after the um, the introduction stage, and towards at the last stage of the growth stage, most likely Uber will move into rural areas. And the question could have been what what come about this assumption? And it could be okay because so let's assume youth. So youth comes to the city from the villages to the city to get money and to have a better lifestyle. They will most likely will go down to the to the rural area to visit their parents someday. So Uber might be required there. At the same time, when um focus for for revolution of technology in Nigeria is helping how is making people understand how strangers. Abuja and Lagos will be. And for more of my friends who had full remote work and website because we work in their countries, they just want to go out Lagos, outside Lagos, stay in a state like um, Ife and the rest, where they'll have water, light, and peace. So everybody just when you have why are you moving out? Just peace, right? So over time, Uber could be could also enter this, could also get into this rural area. And what your life will be, and that's the asset. What will have been the future of growth in it during the maturity stage? Will have been entry Uber, and I think in Nigeria right now, Uber is already at this stage, at the last stage of the growth stage, and they are entering the they are entering the rural, the mini rural areas or the mini urban areas. So before now, you can't get Uber Hub in Ibadan or of the states, but recently, when you're in local states, you most likely will get Uber thanks to the church winners and the school day. So back to what I'm saying, users, what they want, you are making a statement, you are aligning your statements, you are bringing them out and making them more defined and pronounced. So what they want, they want an estimated fare. Actually, they want a cheaper fare. They want something cheap, something reliable, something secure, cleaner, and reliable cleaner secure and something they can they can use as they go so that on demand is as they go so here is the statement and the next thing is the assumption division so you already have the risks important and consigned for each time i created i did a framework you can see my assumption mapping so I have i had a question in mind right at the same time i had a question in mind for the for to the goal, I also had a question in mind. Why yet to why I write my user my assumption statement? Why I did my assumption statement? The questions are still there. So assumption division will be the risks important and consigned. The risks, what is the risks, what is the importance, what is my consign? So consign might be important, maybe priority, or might just be non-priority. Maybe something you will find out right now. There may be a major roadblock to the product launch or product validation, but at the same time, it might be something you grow into or you later find out into. So, like I said, we talked about auto check more often. 
So when auto check started, they wanted to sell cars for dealers. And but at the same time, understand the customer pay point, which is to get is to buy what I see online, what I want to see. I want to understand what I'm coming to to get. I don't want if the the defect of DG on me. I don't want to share by I saw a, a good picturized um vehicle and I get there and I realize that get the transmission system is zero, right? So Autocha came up with this product. I think that they found out that they had a dealer pay point and they needed to understand, they need to match the dealer pay point and the customer pay point and also what market should we even go more into. And the better market to go more into was the financing product. But enough, it doesn't cancel the direct sales product because at the growth of the financing product, you have customers that realize that, okay, I don't want to use financing, but because my friend has bought a car from you and has gone through your process, which is reliable and more trustworthy, you've done the 360 degree um, vehicle check and inspection, you've, you've even done a level, a level inspection, a direct user, a direct buy user will say, okay, I want to buy a car directly with my money, but I want to pay for these services you, you had provided for your financing, for your loan customers or for your financing customers. So at that point in time, at the point of launching, at the point of introduction for the product for AutoCheck, the market wasn't for direct buy, the market was for financing. But we also check also use what um, the market they've created in financing. They use it for direct buy, yes. So I, I hope at the point of their growth stage, they'll go back to that. So, so yeah, how was you written as assumption statement and you've brought out your as, um, assumption division, you find out what is the risk, how well do you really know about this product? At the point of auto check launching their product, they felt like, oh yes, we know Cast 45, we know DG, we know Checky. So Checky has a dealer, we want to sell Cast for dealers. Okay, so Checky is good, let's make you Checky or let's buy Checky, they did. Um, cars for five sells cars in for five minutes, but their pain point was to marriage. So we're not, we're not going to keep cars with us. I'm going to tell the customer, don't worry, keep your car in your house. We'll come to you, we'll inspect your cars, and we'll sell. But DG at the last aspect, DG, the pay point was DG customer pay point, and they thought they had answered the question. But how really well do they know about the market? But as our product launch, they realized they didn't go back to the table and create another product that could help in Nigeria. So important, how likely are we to feel they, they didn't feel with the first product. It actually helped them to integrate better. So how likely were they to feel? They were feel both fully beside GG because, because uh, dealers were like, I mean, let me go back to GG Jerry where I can I can I can make my price. I have a I have a price back in power with the customer. I can't lose customer because he's saying my price is expensive and you guys want more of my money, right? So but at the same time, when they, they felt they were filled, they were able to integrate the product into something better which has made them fit well in the market today. So the next one is, can this create revenue? So at the, at the beginning, we know that in the introduction stage, more, more of expenditure than revenue income. But at the same time, we want to know that what is the future of my product? Can I make revenue? Can I make all these expenses? Can I make revenue? So this is just to say, as product manager, it's not, it's not enough to say, oh, I have an idea. Oh yeah, um, you're a front-end developer. Come, come and help me. You can, you're a web developer, help me with this thing, do this, do this, and you spend money with creating awesome websites and say, yeah, I have the website. It's very soon, we hit the money, you know. But, but when you have a program manager or has program managers, you need to understand that these are not even important. Let's keep the engineers at bay. Let's hold on to when we really, really need them to come into our life. And let's get the right data. Let's know if this product is valuable. So that's the reason why we worked well on product development, we worked well on the product life cycle, and we are finally into the product validation stage. So with this little discussion we had, let's go into classwork a little. So remember this, this, what should I call it? This graph that looks like, so this is Easter period, that reminds us of, of the of death of Christ. And you're like, okay, there was an assignment that seemed to be dumped on us, so if I don't understand the assignment, I would like to go about this. So I've tried to answer a little bit to make us have a little bit of ideology. We are going to work with this together with what I've explained. Can you, with what I've explained, I'm going back to coming, okay. What I said, I'm going back to 
to this. Now going back to each of these, how much do we know about these products? Um, how much do you know about this product? How likely are we to fail? And can we create revenue, which is just three points? You want to put them here. You want to know if they are important, important against known, or they are, they are known, but they're not important. That means you are aware of these, but you don't, at this point of launch, at this point of validation, that is not important. That could be grown into later on. Um, so I think, yes. So this can we get revenue should have moved down known. You know that but at that point in time, you're not really important, but at the same time they concern to you. So how likely are we to feel which is more important? It is important, is priority, but you don't know how likely you are to feel. But how much do you really know about this product? You know about it and it's also important. So the third one should come to known and unimportant. I thought I would be able to work with my slide. I'm finding hard to do that. Okay, so this is to do something. Come please. Okay, so this is meant to be a our question with um, this year. So we have a graph. Please grab your your book, a barrel and a book, and make a graph and you won't be with placed as a points in a graph. We're having a class of this. So I think I want to explain what you think this as a point in to you It's important for you to know about it, and you that it's important to know. But I'm learning from this. No, 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 important so it should be a question why the dot is being properly applied it's a question on should we integrate the product should it be better should we kill this product and just reboot what should we do but at the point of it's gonna be a failure if my team and at the beginning of the product so it shouldn't be clinical actually it should be integrating the product done from this to That's okay, dealing with me today. Can you hear me, please? Can you hear me, please? Please, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you, although you're breaking at some point. But now, can you hear me, please? Right, it shall be now. So can you hire me now? Can you hire me, please? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. So let's draw our graph. And um, so let's draw our graph with our, I'm going to put this slide open. So can you draw your graph first, where you have your important, known, unknown, and unimportant? And please, when you want to place, so we could take one at, at a time. We have seven or, or six thereabouts of them. When you want to place something, please let me know by raising up your hand. The so place it as the quadrant where it should be. I hope we all did my maths.
Estamos con Beatriz. So yeah, so yes, that was a sort of statement. From the sort of statement, you want to place each one according to their importance. You, are, you feel at the, at the beginning, at the PM, you are aware of this, right? So who would like to go first? And who would like to go first? Talk for me, please. Make a piece of your mic. Okay. Talk for me, can you make sure you're mic? Yes, can you hear me now? Okay. And can you hear me? Okay, so for the quadrant, um, oh, important and no. I think we could go first okay. with the, the third bullet point. Users want estimated fare. Then users okay. use estimated fare. Yes. Then users lives in urban areas. We could also put it at um, known, important and known. So we need to also find out about that as well. All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, do we agree with what Kofumia said? Do you have any more hands today? Any more hands today? So we have the class work we need to do, and we need to cancel. We need to finish our report validation for this class. So please, more hands, come up, say something, because that's what people don't mind just have to do. We don't have to have the best decision on hand. We have to be able to work that team, brainstorm daily to know if, if this is true, if this is right, and the rest. So can we have more hands, please? Hello, Femi. Okay, I'll come back to that. Um, Phenomena, please make it on your mic. Okay, um, I feel like users feel taxis or cabs are unreliable, are known and um, unimportant facts. Known and unimportant facts. Yeah, yeah can you? So they are known. We know that the users want to. Like they feel like taxis and cabs are unreliable because you can't guarantee your security if you're in a taxi and all. And it's really not important to us like that because we'll still develop our product either way. So okay, you're saying either feel taxis and cabs are unreliable is known but unimportant at the same time as security, right? Um, that what you said? No, the security is actually important. I'm just speaking to only users few taxis or cabs are unreliable. Okay. And our question, please. Please, as we are using these hours, as we are saying our answers, our Zoom answers, please. Can you, can you draw your quadrant and start placing them in? You can use the word A, B, C, D. E have G, which is what I'm using. I'm using A C E the rest. So for me, um Hulu Femi, can you use the your mic please? Um, so Femi, can you okay? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so users want secured taxes. It is known and important. Important. Yes, because um, when you enter taxi, normal taxis, the taxi driver might be uh, a partner of a kidnapper or supplier of body parts, and you don't know, you just enter and all of that. But you know, when you get into an Uber, you know that, okay, the company has the driver's um, credentials, they know he's safe and all of that. So if anything should happen to you, it's going to be on the company and on the driver. Yeah, yes. And I think uh, Uber integrated on this product well by ability to share your, I can't remember what they said. Uh, I can't remember what they said. I just share your rights, share your rights with family and friends. So that's, yeah. okay, that is awesome. So I can categorically say he is correct, there is this. So for me, you hop again. I want to I want to try again. You know, so I, I'm open to 
people that see we are see we are trying like i said again pms are going to brainstorm more often and go to have today you feel you've gotten everything on ground tomorrow you realize that oh i think i think we've misplaced some things right so let's go on so now i'm saying everybody on this call today go to place things important important and unknown i want to pick the bullet point for the, the second bullet point users have a need to get to places on time true one of the okay. um, one of the strengths or let me say one of the marketing strategies that um, Uber must have advertised to prospective customers could be that a, a easy a, being able to get to wherever you want to go as immediate as possible but in a situation whereby we are having traffic you know maybe there are some routes that um unfortunately maybe there's a falling tr truck or whatever it, the case may be at that point in time we might not be able to see precisely that we're going to spend about 30 minutes or 15 minutes to get to your destination so i think that users have a need to get to places on time is important but it is unknown by us Thank you. Uh, okay, finish up, please. Hold on. Let's call somebody. Charles, Joseph, please, can you make it on your mic, please? And give us a try. Hi, Charles, can you hear me? Hi, can you hear me? Good evening. Um, Good evening. Um, from my own side, um, I think, um, first thing first, um, to my, uh, I'm going first for this thing. Um, you got one. I can't tell you I said user wants cleaner taxes. That's I'm going to put it in um important and known. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Um user wants cleaner taxes. Now I'll put that in important and known. And um the other I'll put on this thing. User users want um estimated press. Also, I think it's important, important and known. Because I missed you at um, Kinatasis. Next one is what? I said, um, for, for this Next one is what? Well, sorry. Important and known. Next one is, um, user wants. That's can you hear me, please? Fare. I said, user wants estimated fare. Users want estimated fare. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Um, I said users want estimated fare. That's for this thing for important unknown. Um, okay. Why um there is one I'm actually trying to work on. That is um this thing. Uh, user want secure taxes also as you said before important and known okay thank you Charles. okay Philomena, let's have a short touch here oh, okay. okay i have a question actually okay. so okay, i don't please. really understand if we already have the okay. assumption statements like okay let me use the instance of what tofumi just said that um okay. users need to have a need to get to places on time so if we already have that as our assumption statement how can we call it unknown do you get like we already know it as an assumption statement so i don't know if you understand the question i'm trying to ask like we already know so why are we putting it in unknown so unknown is because it's infinite so like you explained now you want to get to places on time okay let's use the word priority so you are having a priority table or a priority contract. So um, and as against time. So you know that they want. You know it's known, not unknown. You know that they want. They want. Um, okay. So you know that they want to get to places on time. Sorry. So you know that they want to get places on time. Hello. I think your microphone is muted.
Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, okay, sure. So you want to know, you only know that you only have zoomed. So this is an assumption, it's not a known fact because you've not tested with your users. Or it's just an assumption based on what on the pain points you assume is happening with curves and passes. So you want to feel like, I want to get to place on time. I want to be able to estimate my, my, my distance. I want it to be reliable. So the probably because Barbelo has to the hub at the beginning because it had someone who could pay better than you, right? At the same time, Google Map is there and Google Map, so the integration of Google Map helps with Uber. Google Map is there, it's estimating how long you get somewhere and the rest. While you are in a ride, you want to have time that, okay, you pay to get the skill at this point in time and then to read, you don't need to start going from Google Map to Uber Map and the rest. So from Uber Map, you can read the map and see how it's suited. By the same time, it's unknown because traffic will happen, the collision will happen, or an accident will happen on the road, and it's unknown. So it's the, to the extent of satisfaction for products, or the product to customer, is actually infinite. It's something that you can't really, really estimate completely. Mm -hmm. But you can measure it a little bit of a control system for heat. But at the same time, it's something that is well not, you are not the end, but it's important to them. It's important to them. It's something you sell as a pool of benefit. But at the same time, how well, how well can this can you satisfy them based on environmental conditions is something you don't know. Does this answer your question? So just to confirm that I understand what you're saying, you're saying that it is something that is important to our user, but we don't yet know 100% how to solve the problem for them. Okay, so it's something like you find out your user or you assume now at this point in time, forget about Uber because Uber that they know. Let's assume it's your it's an assumption based on what on it. So something that is important based on your assumption, but the essence the essence of solving, you don't know, you don't know how well you can solve, but okay. it's not something your product can solve. It's something okay. the environment factor is. So from P E S T L E that we talk about factors, so you have the strengths. Uh, we already have the idea of what to create a social in, but an economic factor affecting that, and same time political factor that affecting that. So at the same time, tomorrow, Nigeria decides to make a road because somebody wants to put it almost there. So this answer your okay. question, Philomena. Yes, it does. Thank you. It does. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Shewun, Shewun, please make it on your mic. Are you still on this call? Yes. Hi. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So, evening. so uh, uh, Charles said something that you, you, users want cleaner taxes, and then it is in the important and in the known um, quadrant. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, so, okay. So now, uh, okay. So, what may I feel about this user want cleaner taxes? Okay, because I would feel that it is under the unimportant and also in the unknown quadrant. Because one, uh, okay, okay. Because uh, if uh, if someone wants to go out, okay, and then uh, and then uh, there isn't much time. We won't look either that this taxi is fine or anything. We would enter and then go to where we are going to. So, okay, so that is what I feel about that user wants cleaner taxis. Uh, okay, that it should be under the unimportant and in the unknown uh, quadrant because we want to, we don't know if it will be everybody that would want these cleaner taxis or. And that's an awesome. Like I said again, we are from my jet team. We are brainstorming on the product today and we want to have all ideas on board. So you, you've tricked your answers. We are you are coming to an open area, which is one of your of your social statement or your social statement or as a marking. Okay, from here. You are to get any skin for that. What is, what is, where is your product? What's your product for? Who are they for? What's your target audience? And your target audience at this point in time are people in urban city. They have a particular lifestyle. Like, they have a lifestyle. 
So assuming you are going for okay, it's raining, you are going for the conference meeting. Even though you want to jump back because at that point in time your brain is saying get there at the estimated time or at the necessary time. You still want to come back, you still want to come down, not thinking about oh you are dirty or more to do, right? So for, because it's an urban area, there's a particular lifestyle they have, and you want to answer the typical lifestyle at the same time. So I'm, I'm creating a product that will answer, that will answer various answer, that will answer to various need of my customer. You know, so and the customer. So and the key word is urban. There's a lifestyle for urban people. People coming down from a ride. I want to come down, and people who say, "Okay, yes, it looks neat." My clothes is not wrong for it. My clothes is not my. I don't have a stain somewhere. I don't have a false smell from the environment or pollution around. And the rest of this is also an underlying. So we're not talking about the color here, but it's an underlying question that is important because of the uh, audience. They are open areas. They have a lifestyle. So they are making sure it's an, you're understanding that there are major of people in the urban city, right? The minimize the high profile people are called so you want to answer to every of them okay so this answer your okay, answer is okay. so this is the so a contract a contract is in mathematics a contract is angles of 90s so this is a graph each of them are quadrants. Each of them are 90, 90, 90, 90. I answered our question there. So, um, hopefully, please make your mic. Okay. So, um, I just thought about that of users want on demand transport with ease. I think it should be important and not because. I give you the, my own understanding of this um, assumption mapping is that we, uh, we're, we're supposed to ensure that we create um, each of the features of our of our product. We create a, a consumable mental model for a user, whether we know this user or we don't know this user, whether we are fully acquainted with the user or not. So for me, Users want on-demand transport receipts, whether in the process of, um, of journeying down to our destinations, whether there's, there's going to be a, a sort of discomfort or whatever the case may be, we are not going to assume for them that, okay, this is something like this was going to happen, but we'll just say it naturally that, okay, every um, prospective customer would want um, an on-demand transport with ease during, um, during the period we are rendering such services through our application to them. So actually, your primary solution to cab issue is actually the on-demand transport. That is the first solution. So it is important and known. Like basically, it's the first solution you are bringing in to stakeholder. The first thing you are bringing into the market and these are your selling points that you can be in your house anywhere, anywhere you have, bathtub, cooking, whatever, rooftop, underground, wherever you are, you can order a cup. So that's an answer. So it's important and known. Thank you for that, Tiffany. Um, you know, Minna, do you have another, do you have another thing to say? Shemun, please make it like a mic. So far, I've gotten okay. four answers. Ah, sorry. So, um, I'm still looking for three more answers. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, okay, because when I spoke first, I don't know where yeah, that my phone wiped. Okay, where yeah, my my phone decided to power down and or anything, I don't know. But just that I missed uh, your explanation about what I said as regards to what Charles picked. And so was, was there anything that you guys discussed while I was away for that few minutes? So what? What, what is it? What did Charles pick? Hello. Okay, that uh, users want. 
uh, users want cleaner okay, taxes. I think, uh, yes, I think Charles picked, uh, he, he placed it in the important and the known quadrant. Um, and um, and why my own was under on the important and the unknown. So I don't know if perhaps you did any explanation as regards that when I was. So my explanation was. Okay. So my explanation was the target audience are urban people, people that live in the urban areas or urban cities. Okay. And people that live in the city have a lifestyle. You want to ensure that your product answers to that lifestyle. Although it is understandable that people in the urban cities are mixed. So we have people that are high profile, we have the middle class, we have people that are low earners and the rest. But you want to be sure that if I'm taking a bike, you make an example of a bike, if I'm taking a bike on a rainy season, and my, my mindset will be because I'm late already. It will be because I'm late. I want to I want to work on it. I want, to, I want to get to my environment early, which is a fault of mine, not the fault of everybody, right? So I shall maybe say, estimate my time, plan my time. So what is the solution of Uber? Uber is going to help you plan, be more productive. So it's trying to answer to the main point of the point of finance and the point of, of process at the same time. So that's actually, you know, I, I went back to it, some, I went back to the class of user pay points so they to understand that aspect, right? So now, the key word is urban, that the target audience here is the urban people, people that live in the urban area, they have lifestyles. So even though they are means, you want to be able to have a product that answers to everybody. So they get that faster. There's environmental condition or risks to this thing. Because the vehicle, you might not be able to get that faster. So someone on your bike in a rainy season will, will answer to time, or go back to be concerned about how they look. And where you are going to matter. So I'm taking Uber because I'm going to a conference. And at the end of the day, I get I got there. Probably I use a bike, like you said, because I'm late. That's not a factor that is that's not a factor for you. That's a factor to, to the customer. And the customer understand that your product I've already answered them. But when I get to the conference, I don't want to be I don't want to be concerned about how I smell. I don't want to be concerned about how I look because I don't want to be concerned if my clothes rumbled or if I have a stain somewhere or my feet are stained. So for that reason, it's an urban area. You are more concerned about a lifestyle. You are more concerned about how productive the process was to them. Does this answer your issue? Uh, yes, yes, it does. I Thank you. You're welcome. So our keyword is urban, and the lifestyle is what we are looking for. Um, Phenomena, you raised your hand. Um, yes, I raised my hand. So um, you said that, first off, you said that users live in urban areas, like urban areas is like a key factor. But I feel like we're supposed to look at it from perspective that Uber actually gets to some rural areas. So I so feel that, like... That I mentioned. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like um, user lives in urban areas should be like a known um, assumption or a known statement, but it's kind of unimportant because either ways, if you are living in um, the rural areas, like the rural areas in Lagos, you can still order a ride and, you know, negotiate with your rider and maybe probably drive out, that kind of stuff to share a meetup and make it work. So that's what I feel okay. about. So that, um, you know. like I said, we have a problem. We have an underlying concern. We have a problem. We have an underlying goal. The goal is to make profit, right? Yeah. When you look at when you segment your customers, you segment urban and rural. Before Uber, so I mentioned about rural life cycle. Why explaining this? I said introduction, growth, and maturity states. I said my making this from the introduction state. Tell me how long to stay on shelf. So at the beginning of Uber. It wasn't in Oyo states. Come, like coming down to Nigeria, it wasn't in Oyo states. It wasn't in Kaduna. It wasn't in Kano, right? So more important said, I thought they targeted areas where the airports are, because during those times, in the early 2000s, people are more concerned about getting to the airports early and getting their flights early. That was the major reason why 
people take cab more time, most times. Apart from going to the stance area for university students, which it could be more planned. But they were not planned with the F M F F N or the flights. So I don't know if I if I, I can estimate my flights. You can always plan to go to school in the evening or in the morning. But your flight is so important. So everybody wanted to get to the airport fast and get to safe and get there at an estimated time. So we we'll planned that on urban on urban areas. Okay, thank you. Um, for the second one, I feel like it should be in the important and unknown. I think we've discussed that. Then um, the third one, I feel it should be important and unknown because if we cannot know the exact time we're supposed to get to where we're going to, then we can't exactly know the fare of like how much we're going to pay. So I want to know if that's right. Hello? So they all will plan on. I can't hear you. Okay, so um, I'm I'm taking us back to when Uber was idea. You don't know, so forget about what you know about Uber now. It's an idea. You are thinking, what's the problem? You are in early 2000, and the problem is that. Hmm. I can a cab. I don't want people on the. Not being overpriced, and also. We are coming back to the aggression stage, so urban, urban area. Now, today, Uber has matured or is in the early maturity stage because it penetrated to rural areas. So I'm in an urban area. I mean, I'm coming down from the airport. I got to the city, Lagos. I'm still going as far as Ibadan. So I could ask my, my, Uber, my Uber driver or rider, can you, okay, can you go to Ibadan? You can, okay, I don't have a coverage for that. Okay, you can go offline. You can, you can go offline and I will pay you for that. So do you understand the phenomenon? Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay. 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 So I have four places in my quadrants and I need to make three more. Who would like to yeah. try four? Okay. Sorry, can we know the three that you've not put in your quadrant? Because we are kind of confused. Oh, yeah. so, oh sorry. So if, I think I have five. Sorry. So I have urban user lives in urban areas. It is known and important for the for the penetration of the, for the products in the markets, right? I have um urban your user wants cleaner sizes because Urban area is our keyword, then it's involved and important too. So I also have users want on demand transport with ease. The primary solution to our problem and to the problem of cab is that you can buy you can get cab easily. You can order the cab easily from anywhere you have, right? So that's one five four known and important. So for important and unknown, we agree that. User needs, user have to, user have a need to get to places on time. It is important, but the answers to that is, is subjected to other factors uh, which could be beyond our control, right? So known and all important is that user feels taxes and curves are all reliable. It's known, but not really, only, it's not really important at this point in time. So I have, I have, So I have estimated fare. Where should we place estimated fare? Or let's agree on where to place estimated fare. I have the tickets. Six. Where to place that? I have two more to go. No. 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 If you're only one. 
can you say, can you use the mic? So you have three and six. What should you play this to? Okay. Are you in class? Please, can you use your mic? Can you say something? Can you say hi? That's it. Please, I promise. Don't put me at them there. No, no. Okay. Hello. Yes, you can hear me. No, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay, you said I have three and six, right? Yes, please. Okay, users, users want estimated fare. That's okay. three. Okay. I think it's known and important. Okay. Yeah. Known and important. And six. User want secure taxes. Right. Okay. What should you play that? Estimated fair is unknown and important, actually, and secured taxes is known and important. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Joy, do you get me? Yeah, I heard you. Thank you so much. Joy, do you agree to this? All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Joy, do you agree to this? Hi, Joy. Joy, how are you here? Hey, for Joy. Happy girl, can you, will you help us out, please? Hi, happy girl. Yeah, hello. Hello, happy girl. Um, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, I, I agree with her. I think. Estimated fare is an unknown fact, but it is important. And users want secure taxes. I think that is also important and it is known. So it should be placed in the important. Thanks. Abigail, for the point of, um, for the point of addition, um, do you think it's important? Okay, at this point, we're, we're trying to be, because I assume that we will know that they are thinking of us. And everything. So where do you want to place this on again? I'm trying to try. I'm trying to tell you know, everything, everything, everything. I see him can just place it again somewhere else. Or oh, you stand by your word. Hello, sorry, I didn't get your question very well. I'm saying that what if we do, what if we don't we are not in Afas? It's an urban area, so mm -hmm. I don't think they should be allowed. So what if they're not in Afas? Where will you place this again? Is important. It's unimportant. It's number no unimportant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. Um, Welcome. We have been yes. Do we have been with three and six? I did that more last high. In the more last high, you have me to this. Are you in class, please? Hello? Hello? Okay. Okay. Hi. Can you hear me, please? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, please? Yeah, so my network is kind of bad. So it's keeping. Can you hear me? Talk for me. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Hello. Oh. Yes, I am here. Sorry, I I don't know. I kind of object to. Yes, yes. Can you hear can me? You hear me please? Please. Okay, yes, yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, I'm 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 actually looking at users want estimated fare. 
for me, I think it's important and no. Reason being that let's, uh, they could have opt, opted for use, uh, using taxes or cabs, which of course maybe their face could um, uh, their face could flaunt it at any point in time. As they, yes, I can hear you. I don't know if anyone can hear me. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, so I'm I'm saying that I I I feel users want estimated fare to be a an important and known or, or in the important and known quadrant. Why? Because as a, I'm, I'm just saying, thinking out loud, let's say, for instance, we have user A. User A could have just easily gone for taxes or cabs. And of course, their prices could fluctuate at any point in time. Let's say, for instance, as a result of uh, maybe fuel scarcity or whatever it is. But somebody that is now coming to say, oh, I actually want to make use of Uber. Why? Because Uber has uh, maybe it has a discount rate or maybe when I invite somebody to come and use the application, then you get a discounted price for it or whatever the case may be. So I, for me, I think unless if you can help me, help us explain better why it has to be, uh, it doesn't have to be important and known. But for me, I think it should be important and known. Thank you. Apologies, guys. My level. Okay. Can you walk through? Yes. Can you hear me? Okay, so Tufu just summarized it to what you said before. Okay, I was saying that I think users that the bullet point three users want estimated fare. I think it should be important and known okay. because because a user could just easily opt for taxes or cabs, and of which their face could front tweet as a result of a factor that you know can be uncontrollable by the user itself. Especially maybe when we have a situation of full scarcity or I, there's this hike in uh, full price or hike in the price of um, transport fare. So someone can decide that, oh, I would like to opt for this particular application. Why? Because their services, their, in terms of their fares, their fare is very, like it's, it's, it's quite reasonable unlike um, the the literal taxes and caps. So I don't know if you can buttress on it why it shouldn't be important and known, or maybe it should be something else. Thank you. So yes, they want an estimated phase. They probably I myself am placed on the. So that's number three is important and known, correct. But for number six, is is known but unimportant because we we have the right and the uh, feeling. It could not be answer to that, but we answer to it. But it's not something I have to put my mind on. Like not like it, a lot of pay points, but it's gonna be a a a benefit. The benefit, but it's not a pay point. So because we are in urban areas, we assume that there's no there's no mutual and in pass, but I think at
Can I make your mic? Can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, uh, about that user one, about that user one secured taxes. Uh, so uh, you you placed it under the known and unimportant quadrant. Also, that doesn't fit uh, quite well with me. Uh, because uh, okay, even if that you are in a very uh, okay, even if that you are on the island. Uh, you would also want to feel that wherever that you are going, you need to be secured. Whether that place is being secured or not, you would want to feel personally that you are secured. So I would feel that the that user wants secured taxes. It should be under the important and known uh, quadrant because okay, because one, uh, any any anything, any, anything can happen. Even if that you are in a very secure place, and then and then even if that you are in a Uber ride, okay, even if you took an Uber ride down there, anything can happen. So I feel that that one that user won't secure taxes. It should be under the important and the known quadrant. Okay, although that's what I feel. So, so if if perhaps that you have more points to buttress why it should be under the known and important, okay. If you have more points to buttress why it should be under Hello, the known. Can you hear me? Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Can you hear me, kind of break. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. So, um, user wants secure taxes. It is something you know, but at this point, is it very important? No. It's not something you have to focus on because your product will answer to that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so your product is already answering to it because you are in a vehicle, you're in a car, it's secured. You already have, like um, someone explained, you already know that if anything happens to you, a, a complaint is a complaint is um, liable to that and the rest. So you are, your, your product answers to that. This is important to the user. But it is um, known to you that it's important to use, but at this point of product launch, it's not really important because it's part of the benefit of your product. So the secretary, it's a secondary answer to your product. Your product already answered that secondary. So this answer our question. From the idea where I said it's known, but not really important. One, urban area should be okay. secured. But at the same time, it's not in an that proof cars. So um, the luxury, a luxury ride is also an advert on an influencer switch. They are trying to answer to lifestyle alone and to lifestyle alone. So, and to high profile clients alone. So if I said bulletproof cars are what we are using in Cuba, then security will have been important and known. Because that means um, if or not government, sorry, I'm putting that in. So if other government comes around, at least you know that you are in Uber, you are safe, right? So I'm saying it is known to you that it's a customer pay point. But is it important for you to so so is it important for you to stop your hello? Hello validation. No, and your company has answered to that. Can you hear me clearly? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I do. Although I lost you at some point, or I lost you at some point. Uh, the, uh, the part where you were explaining that uh, the the uh, the luxury vehicles, the ad that you saw about the luxury vehicles for high profile clients, that was where I lost. You. So what I said is, we are in urban area. Okay, so it's not um, urban area. What are we? I know that customer wants security or secure cars, um, um, but at the same time, uh, my product has already answered to it secondarily. It's not important for me to focus on it. So, see this. It's at the priority factor of importance because security, that security of it is not really important because my product has already answered to that. 
we do you hear me clear? Yes, yes, I do. I did rather. I did it to curate this. So under the important alone, you said user wanted estimated fare. How sure are you that user wanted estimated fare? From the rate of one to 10, who can help us with that? How sure are you that user wants estimated fare? Hello, everybody. Who is here? So how sure are you that user wants I sorry please. So I, on the rate of one to ten, on the rate of one to ten, users want estimated fare. How well do we know this? Can someone help us? So for me, please ask us on the rate of one to ten. How well do we know? Do we have I, I already said ten for me, like Hello, can you hear me? Hello. I agree. Are the team? You said? Yep. On the rate of one to ten. Okay. How well do you know that customers or users will want? Very well. Estimated fair. I said very well, 10. They okay. want estimated fair. Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, Samuel, a little one to 10. My good evening, Ma. Good evening, everyone. Hmm. How well are we sure that in um, summer? Yeah, okay. my answer is um, eight over ten. Great. Okay. And for so, Joy, are you here? So, how sure are we that? I'm here. Is a living uh, people who want urban area. So are we sure of this? Joy, can you help us? Hi, Joy. I'll show what. Sorry, I can't hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay, let's move on to this. Um, 
my talk is with crappy. And let's move on. So these are what we create an estimation just to you. I want you to know this. I want you to know this. But we want your phone that do an average of them and get a sum total of everything. So like for five and three, we said 10. So 10 plus eight by two. Give you an estimate of what should be there. Oh, so, so you check on your risks, importance, and consign. So with all of these, um, will people want to use? This is can hear me say that in the chat box is with all of this um as social statement we made, will people still want to make use of Uber? Would they can we make revenue from it? Will it grow to maturity and um to so the majority and all, or how well can we keep it on shelf? And looking at the product but today, from ideation to now, you can see that they, they went through the adoption stage well. They had a good assessor statement. They've uh, evolved, they've evolved and evolved and um, they've grown. They're currently in their early stage of majority stage. And now it's not just covering for urban areas, it's now covering for rural areas too. Okay, so that is, is about assumption. So let's go into the summary of all. The broad organization is the process of testing and idea. So let me know when you can hear me in chat post. The broad organization is the product of test variable and it helps to manage resources as time, money, and people. People in this extent is, like I said before, engineers are they don't want to waste your money. Don't waste your money. Money um, with this, with, uh, with this, we can close for today and have the conversation on our channel later on. Thank you everybody for today. Sorry for the